a new way has been found um, to kill children. So a decision such as this suddenly means that a new way has been found um, to kill children. Israel has banned the UN humanitarian organization called UNRWA that delivers aid in Gaza. UNRWA operates in Gaza, East Jerusalem, Syria, Lebanon and the West Bank. Israel says the ban is only limited to Israel. But since all aid into Gaza goes through Israel, there are serious concerns that the ban could collapse the entire humanitarian aid network in Gaza. Almost the entire Gazan population now relies on UNRWA for basic necessities, including food, water and hygiene supplies. UNRWA employs tens of thousands of workers and provides relief, aid, education and health care. Over 13,300 children have died in Gaza since Israel began bombarding it in retaliation after the October 7 attacks. Nearly 45% of Gaza's population has been sheltering in UNRWA shelters, schools and public buildings. Um, if UNRWA is unable to operate, uh, it would likely see the collapse of the humanitarian system in Gaza. UNICEF um, would become effectively unable to distribute life-saving supplies. Here I'm talking vaccines, I'm talking winter clothes, I'm talking hygiene kits, health kits, water, water and sanitation, RUTF on malnutrition, and we know, again, we're knocking on the door of famine, an all range of, of nutrition supplies. Authors of the Israel bill say UNRWA has allowed itself to be hijacked by a terrorist organization. And since the UN had not done anything about it, for a year, Israel had to. UNRWA is an organization that a terrorist organization has completely taken over it. What we've seen in Gaza is how Hamas has taken over United Nations facility, schools, hospital clinics and headquarters in order to use them as military bases to hide ammunition, to hide rockets, to actually commit terror activities from the United Nations facilities. The reference is to the allegations that UNRWA employees took part in the horrifying October 7 attacks on Israel. The man in black seen here was allegedly employed with UNRWA. Israel recently killed Mohammad Abu Ittivi, a Hamas commander who attacked young music lovers at the Nova Music Festival. He was also an UNRWA employee. After Israel accused 100 UN staffers of being involved with armed groups like Hamas, UN fired nine of them following an investigation. More than 150 UNRWA staff have been killed in Gaza, making it the deadliest conflict ever for UN employees. For more such videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the like button and follow for more news updates.